Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the Midlands to London on Transport Fever 2. In today's episode we're going to be building Coventry Station on the West Coast Main Line and that uh, basically means that we've finished the West Coast Main Line from London Euston into Birmingham and that means I can release this save file on the Steam Workshop. So as soon as this uh, video goes out live the, uh, the save file will be available on the workshop. In the last episode we built a rugby station which was kind of one of the last major key stations that we needed to build on the west coast main line. Obviously we've got the Trent Valley still to do but uh, yeah rugby was kind of a big big part and I'm pretty pleased actually with how rugby's turned out. It's actually one of the closest stations to date I think uh, to the real thing with the the flying junctions and bits and bobs here and there you know pretty pretty pleased with how this has turned out actually we've got some services operating on it already so we've got well it's 1998 at the minute so they are virgin services i have named them avanti in the actual service name just because it just saves time later on because eventually obviously there will be avanti services but we've got some uh, virgin services and we've got silverlink services in a minute which obviously will be london midland and then london northwestern railway bringing us up to date so um yeah, I've got those there. This service, I'm not sure if it will remain as it is at the minute. It's I'd class this as it's not quite an all all station stopping service, but it is, you know, it stops Euston, Milton Keynes, Rugby, and then Birmingham International, and then Birmingham. I'm not sure if all of the Birmingham services stop at uh, Milton Keynes or and Rugby or either or maybe so i will take a look at that because obviously some of the trent valley services can stop at milton Keynes or rugby or we can do a little bit of alternating services i'm not going to put every single i'm not going to put like a liverpool and a manchester and a, and a glasgow but i will have a few services on anyway just so we can replicate a little bit of the service pattern and obviously we've got the silver link service currently which just basically stops at every station including stetford which i built a while ago so yeah this episode we're going to be building coventry which means i think coventry is going to i think we're going to dem demolish it i think it's pretty much the most straightforward way of doing things just because the way the track is I, I guess i could have put the track somewhere else but no i think it's just easier i'll probably delete that as well the actual towns were just more of a reference for where they need to be uh, it's not the end of the world because we are playing in sandbox mode anyway. It doesn't really matter about where they are. So I'm just trying to look for the orientation. So get rid of this all this track here, obviously, which is going to upset these. I used auto sig to signalise all of this with a block section of 400 meters between each one, but that doesn't really make much difference. And I've deleted the wrong bit of track. Get rid of delete. Or B, no, it's B, isn't it? I've been playing Captain of Industry, or well, I've been recording episodes for a Captain of Industry uh, series, and the delete key is the other button, it's delete rather than B, which is just confusing for me. Right, I'm just looking, so Coventry, yeah, it is going to be orientated like this. Obviously, the map remembering it's not a true north south map, it's on a skew angle, uh, but I do like the tracks coming in on uneaten actually i do want to double check that yeah it comes in i was just double checking comes in the northern approach to coventry i think we'll call it or the western approach comes into the south southern approach of non so the southern part of non station does like an s configuration and then into the west or the, the north would you call it the north or the west of coventry and then similarly yeah the eastern exit of coventry comes into the northern entrance of so we've got to like two s's which come in and out of coventry station so i think we're going to build coventry station i guess we're going to use actually yeah we'll do 240 meters long and we'll do high speed track with catenary and we'll spin that round like so yeah you think we'll use the king's cross segments for this so we'll chuck that in there and then we'll configure this no it's not a particularly complicated station configure b that's the one no we'll get just get rid of the so the platform modules uh king's cross king's cross we'll use the new so it is just yeah pretty straightforward station this actually i think with two Four platforms, two tra four tracks, four platforms coming through. 
And um, yeah, like that. Pretty simple really, I think. Like so, and then we'll go with King's Cross, and we'll just, and as far as I can tell, I'm just going to double check that as well. Yeah, there's like, this platform here doesn't come all the way down to the end. I think this one might do actually. But I'm guessing it's going to be, I think it's either going to be one of these three platforms here, which are going to be for the, the Avanti services or the Virgin services, and this one's probably going to be for a local service, I'm guessing. Uh, so we'll chuck that in there and then we will use I think we'll use the ones with lifts these are a bit too modern for to represent Coventry but I think I'll put them in anyway like so and then we want some I want to put some I think we want to put benches in we'll put ticket machines in a couple of ticket machines on this side uh, some benches along this side and then we'll have a little bit of flat roof. I thought yeah, Coventry had a, like a, a big roof, but it doesn't. It just has a flat roof. Obviously, ooh. no, they, they don't work, right? Let's back to that. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be as close as we're going to get. I was going to say we could probably use the old sections, but we can't because they are not compatible with the lift shaft segments, basically. So we'll have to use the flat roof. I think what I'll do as well, I'm just going to put in a little bit more platform around here although it's looking a little bit lopsided actually no that's all right it's, it's shifted more towards this way anyway and then we'll go in with the roof sections here like so that's i think that's pretty much it ish it's not i mean it's not very difficult at all not very complicated and then we'll go in with these passenger buildings where are you and we'll go in with these segments here now We'll go in what with a couple of these. It's just a shame actually that these and I if I put in say one of these along here, maybe mix and match a little bit with no that just puts in one of them. What about that? No, that's <laughs> they all they're all slightly different. I'll just like one without like the canopy. But they are all slightly different. That's a bit of a bit annoying. I get rid of that back to passenger building I keep, I keep pressing delete and that just keeps taking me away what are you now you'll push back in further you're a bit more sticky outy and you you're there and then we've got these this bigger building here so I guess I don't know what I want to do I think yeah I'll, I'll chuck I think this is supposed to be a car park what I'm putting down now but we'll put that in there just makes it look a little bit better I think and then Stop, stop pressing delete, it's definitely B. Right, we'll get rid of that and then we'll zoom back in again and then we'll put in... Yeah, it's just a shame with these passenger buildings. These larger buildings don't have an entrance, which is a bit of a shame. But we'll put that in anyway and then... Actually, no, I think B. Press B. You'll use this one here. No, should we? No. B. Got this one. Oh, this one. Yeah, it is supposed to be a car park, but we'll put them in like so. Just so that building's represented. And then what does that give us? That gives us one of those. What about that one? Yeah, they all are ever so slightly different, some of these, aren't they? So that one like that, and then that one. Yeah, just for a little bit of variety. Just make sure we've got the steps. Yeah, I think that'll work. And... Yeah, and then there's something, oh no, I think actually, configure, we will just have, I forgot which building I put in now, right, zoom across here, no, nope, that, that one, that one, maybe if you have a bit of canopy, actually I think, <laughs> keep pressing delete and it just takes you away, right, right, so you, on, there, and then just a little bit more of, not you, one of you, that one is that a, is that a door I think it is but what about these ones just trial and error and then maybe back to that one was it be nice if there's one yeah like no that one but without a door yeah I think that works I just actually exit this time and mm, it's not showing a path from there to there but oh dear I don't know 
we'll, we'll soon see, I think, is the answer that. I think there is a connection from there to there. I'm pretty sure there is. So yeah, I think that looks all right. And then we'll just go in with the track. So first things first, high speed track, Tannery, yes. The line from Birmingham, am I putting high speed track in? I don't think I am. Into, and we'll come to about here. We'll use this gravel that I've already put down. That's a starting point like so and then we want a switch about here reasonable speed on the switch and then it splits off into three tracks like so and then we'll have another track this is going off towards non-eaten so this might have to be pretty slow just to get that curve that we need 50, yeah, 50 is quite slow, but I think maybe 55. Where's, where's non-eaten? Yeah, I think we've gone back far enough. A bit like that. And then round into, uh, into Coventry. So this one wants to run alongside and then merge in 50, 60. And then we'll have a switch. Have we got enough room? Yeah, we should have. Nice high speed switch there and then we need these two tracks so one kind of goes into that there and then we'll run alongside for a little bit and then run alongside like so that works i think uh, so we've got this third track here which runs alongside obviously it just goes into into there and then another switch on here 60 yeah would like would like a high speed switch have we got the switch down switch Oh no, we haven't got that switch there as well. well what speed is that? It's 45. Like a little bit quicker than that. Let's get rid of these. Get rid of these switches that I've put in. Put this switch in. Where's the snapping points there? So, yes, yeah, 60. And then into the side. Again, 60. And then from there, another switch. That's four. Oh, now it's a bit too slow. Try that again. So from that one going up to about 60 miles per hour I think yeah I think they need to be about 60 miles an hour just so the because obviously this junction is going to be is like a little bit of a bottleneck isn't it so we want the trains to be going as quick as possible in and out of this this junction here so we've got that switch there we've got a second one and then a third down to there we've got a switch doing that hold on yeah no no, oh, yeah, no, get, get B. I'm going to be doing that all the time now, aren't I? Right, so I'm going to get rid of that track. We need a switch in here. Again, oh, six, yeah, 60, 70. And then this track can come off. Nice high speed switch there, and then that connects straight into there. And then we have another switch here. Again, 80, 70, yeah, I will take that. Happy with that. Signals, uh, one of those, one way. Get rid of these two signals here. No, not the track, just the signal. <laughs> right, track. Signal. You are obviously an upline, and as are you, you're an upline as well, aren't you? I'm guessing, so these, I don't know if these are going to be two, two downs and two ups, and well, there's just three, isn't there? Why is there just three? Because we've got another piece of track here. So this, these are going to be two up lines. Can I get a signal in there? I don't think I can, can I? But I do want a signal there. No, nope, facing the wrong way. Yeah, two. These are going to be two down lines, I'm assuming. Although this might be an up down bi directional line, quite possibly. So I don't know if I want to put a signal on it. We will see as soon, well, as soon as we finish this exit, then we'll know if they are up down. So this one wants to go straight towards there. And then this line wants to come in across, I guess, to about there and then merge into the side. Again, nice high speed switch. And then we've got another, this track runs alongside. Alright, we'll do that in two bits. We'll do that. 
and then merge that into there like so and then from here this one wants to run alongside and then merge in to that I think that looks about right so that's yeah these are going to be down lines yeah these are going to be down lines both of these are going to be down so we can signal that as two down lines I think I think that works have I put an up yeah that's fine we're not gonna but we take a look at this yeah we could I think we'd be able to stack a train in there actually a 240 meter long train so let's take a look at the building as a measuring tool yeah that should be fine just making sure this block section it what is it making sure this block section here is long enough for a 240 meter long train without fouling that's that's a set of points there which I don't think it is so that's all fine We've got a signal there yeah we're just looking for stacking capacity aren't we really let's take a look along here no we're not going to be able to get unless I move that switch I don't know if I want to do that it would be nice to have some a block section here but I don't think we're gonna have, we're gonna be able to so I think what we'll do is we'll get our two signals on the exit so these are both down lines and why aren't you electrified uh, tools should be electrified why aren't you why aren't you electrifying that's weird um track upgrade no you can't upgrade right that's annoying right okie dokie uh delete uh, shift delete those bits that's annoying that's annoying don't know why it's done that weird right configure get rid of all of these configure can you guess what i did uh right get rid of these bits of track very strange right track yeah i think that does need to be some sort of update which kind of consolidates all of the mods i think that's probably one of the issues is like mods conflicting with one another that's the only thing i can think that it's not happy about back to the track lane connect these up again yeah luckily we didn't have to delete too much of the track which is not too bad you know it's not the end of the world is it right get that into there and then just connect these bits up again no signals on the approach was there that definitely isn't connected to anything actually if i take that from there see yeah i think 50 40 i think even 45 should be more than quick enough for it now if we check the that again and then we can actually get in a signal there which just creates a nice block section just somewhere for trains to queue which all looks all looks fine doesn't it good i think we'll get rid of no we can't get rid of that signal keep those that block section as is and then we just wanted to actually i'll do the track before i do the signal shouldn't i right get this track going I may as well just bolt it straight onto there similarly with that track as well just straight onto there and then we've got this it's not overly complicated but it is just take a little bit of thought i think to get this right this curves right round but i would like 50 maybe 55 just bring that round a little bit and then this track here just kind of comes round to meet it and then there is a third track where's Leamington Spa so it's there so we need to curve this actually no, we'll curve this one because that'll give us the inside curve is going to be the the most severe isn't it um I think so about up there and then bring this round to follow off towards the northern approach to Leamington Spa I'll call it and then bring this one round alongside and then we just got a switch here and another one here uh oh no right okie dokie i've done that hmm i've done that as an up haven't i i think i will have to right so we're gonna have trains coming down from north uh, and uneaton it's going to be coming down now we do have a lot of switches going on here I'm guessing this is going to be one of the platforms that I used to turn back trains 
so this signal is going to have to be two-way. Can I get away with doing that? Don't like two-way signals. I just really don't uh, don't like using them if, if I can help it. No, I think I will have the block sections. It is they are quite far away, but I'm just thinking if if I put a signal on here, for example, and there's a train waiting here, I'm pretty sure it's going to let another train. Let's call this this should be platform one on the far left. I'm guessing. Let's say there's a train coming in that's going to be reversing, go back to Nuneaton, and obviously it's going to be coming down this line, then yeah, that's all fine. But if I have that signal there, what will happen is it'll let another train come in and block that, block that. so I think we're going to have to have the block sections miles away, unfortunately. I think it's the only way it's going to work. Right, so this is... That's definitely an up. And then these are definitely... This, oh damn, right, get rid of you. That's why I needed to put these signals in first, because space for the track, right, track, from there, straight onto there. Hasn't done anything really to the speed, I don't think. And then a signal there. Yeah, if I, oh, I've, I've got all these signals as two way now. Yeah, the, these being one way signals facing that way don't make a difference to this platform being bi directional. So that shouldn't be an issue. Don't know what this piece of track here is going to be. This could be a bi-directional track, I think. Looking at this switch here, I'm guessing this could be maybe trains. I don't know if any would come in and then reverse out going towards somewhere. But uh, yeah, we'll have that anyway. And then another signal. What we are going to have is we're going to have the cross-country services coming from Birmingham, calling at Coventry and then coming off. And then they're going to go to Leamington Spa, Banbury. Oxford, Reading, and then going to reverse to go towards Basingstoke, aren't they? So, uh, yeah, where are we? This station, which doesn't have a name, configure. No, you're not like you. No, not configure. Definitely not configure. Rename Coventry. Right. Next thing is we've got a couple of couple of bridges. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and then shift one, two, three, four. That's given us a bridge. Just make sure it's not the bottom of that. Is that far? Is that coming into contact with the catenary? Is it? No. Well, I should I use? How many bits did I do then? <laughs> right. So if I do one more bit straight across there, something like that. Definitely not. Nope. That's fine. So we'll go in. With that. Actually, I think this bridge is a bit more straightforward and then just come down like so nope didn't want to build that i wanted just wanted that to be on an embankment like so now this bridge is comes it's almost like it's on top of the station so one two three four one two three four five and then we'll use the same girder something a bit like that and then coming down like so on an embankment Bustly. that looks fine let's just but you know this needed to come down a bit a bit sooner like that and then an embankment okie dokie so we've got we do have a road that's connecting these two bits as what do i wanted to find out actually is there a set of steps on this side of the station i don't think there is no there isn't and actually if i get rid of this and then do this in two bits so do a little bit to about there and then another little bit to about that's we have an auto save another little bit to about there no definitely a little bit to about there on an embankment and then we'll have these two connected up like so and then just coming straight down actually no should we have it curving away a little bit oh no we can't do that we need it needs to come off straight oh that's that's pretty hideous <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't like that at all. So this road's going to have to be probably a little bit further back than it should be. Or maybe we have it higher. So the only problem with having the bridge as high as it is... Right, let raise that up so it's flat. Flat embankment. And then we'll do another one. Flat embankment. And then a bit of road across there. 
Actually connect those two up, embankment, and then just have two roads coming down to ground level, like so. And then this one curves off. Actually we'll have, we'll have a bit of four lane road. I'm not going to put the roundabouts in. I'm not going to make these rare layout particularly accurate, but just have a little bit of dual carriageway coming through the town. The city. Now Coventry is definitely a city, isn't it? People of Coventry won't thank me for just calling it a town. And then we'll have a little bit of road coming off here. I think that should want to be a bit small road coming into the station. Actually, no, we'll get, get rid of that. Bring this road. Road? No, don't, we'll definitely want road. Round to here. And then we'll have a little bit of a bit of a one-way loop. That's the station. Little little loop. No, definitely definitely want that to be a loop. Not the not the best loop I've ever done in in my life, but it'll do the job. And then into there. And then just I guess we should I guess this can be full width. Why not? Straight bit of road. And then I think all I want to do is just uh, player ownership, yes, I want to own these. These two bits of road here, just so the game doesn't get any ideas about building anything ugly looking. Yeah, I think this dual carriageway is kind of sunken a little bit, but we're not going to be able to replicate that, or I'm not going to anyway. We'll just have a little bit of road. Connecting up like this. And then the game's free to do whatever it wants then, I'm not bothered. Just smooth some of this off. Yeah, I think it would be nice. Is that is that flat? It is ish, ish isn't it? Smooth some of this off. Don't know where that dual carriageway is going to go, but I guess this should connect up, shouldn't it? Don't, have we got any complaints? Not eaten yet. It hasn't. Its road connection's poor, so it's going to complain. So let's get this connected up to that dual carriageway, and then there's a road here as well, isn't there? Get these two ends connected up. I don't know why that's going underground. Try that again. Bring that down. Don't no, don't need to own it this time. That to about there. Then country road. Country road into there. Don't need to spend hours on this, just get those connected up. And then we're gonna go to town and then we wanna we want it about here. Happy days, Dover. Of course it is. <laughs> Coventry. Thank you very much. Yeah, probably are going to have to do... Actually, you may as well do that now, shouldn't we? Right, assets, retaining wall, brick, 40 metres long, 9 metres high, offset by 5 metres. Perfect. And then just have these along here. Don't know if I want to go underneath. Yeah, may as well. Yeah, so we've got that little bit of retaining wall. We'll have a little bit more. Actually, you may as well extend this underneath this road bridge. Don't know why that's pushed off there all of a sudden. Never mind. Put that in there, makes it look a little bit more accurate. I think we want a little bit of retaining wall here as well, don't we then? Make that look a little bit more attractive. Um, offset zero, 2.5, something a bit like that. Paints, we'll have just the asphalty colour just around here. All around here as well. And I guess all around here as well. I guess we need a bit of retaining wall there as well. Just paint all this area and here as well. It is all just pretty much like this-ish. And then that is a bit more... There's like houses along here, but I don't like the look of that texture. Just fill that in. Uh, what did I want to do? Assets. I wanted a bit of this. One of these, all wide, no cap, no walls, just to give this a little bit of support. It just looks better, doesn't it? Just bring that down. One there, I'll have one this side as well. I know we've got the retaining wall there, but I think just just finishes it off, just makes it look that much better. And then we want one this end, don't we, as well? Bring that up, till it, and then just push it down. And then one more, even though we've got the retaining wall, we just want to put this in down to here actually did I bring that, bring that stop stop messing around 
I just want to see where it lines up to with the end of the bridge just so I can flip it round properly. I think that's probably a bit better. Drop that down. Don't think that's fouling the track, is it? But we'll have a look in a minute. I don't think it is. Nope, that looks fine. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's glitching into the retaining wall a little bit. But it's not too bad, is it? Um, assets, one. Bring you up. Spin you around until you're pretty much level with the that bit of wall. And then line that up nicely. Just fill that in. Just looks a heck of a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah, happy with that, I think. And that, that's fine. What about this end? Yeah, that's all fine. Uh, probably fill that in as well, why not, while we're here. While we're putting a little bit of effort into it, I'm not again, not super detailed, you know that, but you can just make it that, look that little bit better than I will. It's not glitching into there, is it? And that's fine. And a bit of paint along that edge, like so, and then a bit of gravel to fill in the track. And I think we want to get rid of that. There is stabling provision as well somewhere along here, but I'm not putting that in. Just I think that should be fine. Like that. Bit of gravel. Just to get rid of the grass growing down the middle of the track, which you know I hate. Any modders, if you want to make a mod that gets rid of the grass, that it would be muchly appreciated. And then just get rid of the grass down here. Obviously going over. Never mind. Just get rid of that little bit. They, again, there's stabling provision there, but we won't include that, I don't think. We'll just paint over this, get rid of that grass, make the brush a little bit smaller. Yeah, going around and doing this all day long is, is a bit tiresome, but yeah, just having the grass growing out, especially when you've got like, if it's concrete sleeper track and it's quite modern, then it just doesn't look right with grass. I guess in older, you know, older station, a lot less less well maintained stations, I guess would you know you often see a little bit of grass, but in city centre stations, not so much. So yeah, just get rid of that, get rid of that. That's all fine. A little bit of there. That should all be pretty much all the way down to Birmingham International. Should be got rid of. Get rid of that on the curve. But again, we've got to revisit this when we come to do the next station. And then a little bit more down here. So there we are, we've got Coventry in place, which is good. Is Coventry connected to Birmingham? No, I need to see what the, the road sitch is with regards to... I, obviously, I'm building a sort of-ish representation of the motorway, but I'm not building, you know, a proper motorway, because it is just, even with, like, the motorway, the highway mod, it's a bit of a faff. So I'll just be putting in dual carriageway, but I do want the dual carriageway to be in sort of... The place where the motorway would be in real life particularly if it intersects with the railway in particular places it's definitely going to do the non-eaten to coventry intersect with non-eaten to coventry railway isn't it so yeah that will be extended soon but there we are we've got coventry in place all we need to do now before i wrap this up is do birmingham milton Keynes, rugby coventry and then birmingham international coventry like so and then we are doing the London North Western Railway, Bletchley, Watford, Euston, Watford, Bletchley, <laughs> I don't know why I've done it in that order, Rugby, don't know what city, yeah, I guess it's going to be after that, and then that one, and then Birmingham International, Stetchford, Birmingham International, Stetchford. Not sure if they should be the London North Western Railway or the Silverlink service who should be on the alternate platforms, don't know, there's no provision, is there? Oh. Hmm, not sure actually, because these, this platform here is going to get very busy, because you're going to have the cross-country service as well which there's no like switch to come from this track or this platform as far as I can tell anyway onto this track so I think we might want to alternate is it gonna let me do that without complaining 18 you maybe try platform 4 oh it's alright it's happy it's happy and then the cross-country service is gonna come down I can guess it can go to this platform here can't it yeah because this platform here which I'm guessing should in real life be platform one is going to be where train services turn back to go because it's just like an uneaten Coventry little shuttle isn't there backwards and forwards so we will leave that as is unpause the game and call that done yeah pretty yeah, it's not too bad I'm much happier now I've got these flat roofed buildings I think they are a lot more accurate we've got a nice little turnaround facility there for a bus all looking good I think I will leave it there for today and say until next time 
Bye-bye.